Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I really am so excited to be showing you this video today because it is a six months results video of my derma rolling my body skin once a month and let me go back and tell you why I decided to try this and basically it was a video that I saw from Bubsy Beauty and Bubsy Beauty is the channel of this darling young woman probably in her late 20s early 30s somewhere like that and she had had a very big term baby it was a huge baby and she had terrible tummy skin this is a picture of her tummy the before and after and all she did on this was that she derma rolled her skin once a month and in that after you can see the wonderful results that she achieved and basically what she did was that for six months at the first of each month she derma rolled her tummy up and down and then side to side and then this way I believe and she did that with a 1.5 derma roller which is the depth of the needles that it is safe to use on your body because any more than that they say you could risk scarring so I would never use more than a 1.5 on my body or more than a 0.5 on my face but that is what she did to achieve those good results and as we all get older and I'm getting older too right along with the rest of you I am 62 years old and unfortunately even though I've worked to take pretty good care of my skin my body skin I've kind of left alone and it's gotten baggy and saggy and so I thought heck if that worked for Bubsy Beauty I was going to try it and give you all the results and if you're interested in all things you thing I like to call it for your face your body your attitude then I hope you'll subscribe and when you click that little bell that just notifies you of my future videos and if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend that supposedly helps the video do better and I've worked on this video six months so I would love it if you would share it with your friend and or give it a thumbs up okay in just a few moments I'm going to show you the results pictures and quite honestly I was blown away by the results but before I do that I do want to tell you that up until maybe a month or two ago I really didn't think I was having any good results and in fact some of you are going to be kind of surprised by this video because in the comments section you would say hey how's it going with derma rolling your saggy skin because that was a very popular video and I'll link it below the first video where I started out this journey six months ago was super popular had lots of views but basically what I was telling you in the comments section is you know Bubsy Beauty had great results but I'm not really sure that I have I'm not really seeing any different and you know it's so funny because I watched a video by Angie of Hot and Flashy in which she said she was doing something on her face I can't remember what it was now and she said I really thought that whatever this was was making my pores look smaller but when I went to the pictures I realized no it was just all in my mind because pictures don't lie and I had exactly the same thing happen in this video but to the opposite extreme I didn't really think anything was happening because the changes of derma rolling are very gradual and they are produced over six months time but when I went to take the after pictures I fully expected to tell you hey I don't know what Bubsy Beauty did but it did not work on me and once I saw those pictures I was blown away and I'll show you those pictures right now and I'll start with the tummy picture but I will reiterate what I did once a month I set a reminder on my calendar at the first of each month I derma rolled my tummy the fronts of my legs the backs of my legs and my bat wings which I'll show you in just a few minutes so here is the before and after on the tummy and it is really amazing there was my tummy in the before picture on February 22nd and as you can see look at that belly button that belly button is kind of looking like a sad face it is really falling forward on itself it doesn't really look round anymore and then in the after picture as you can tell after just six months my belly button looks nice and round again and that sagging skin around the belly button has just largely gone away and then as you can see below the belly button I just had a lot of kind of wrinkly crepey saggy skin in the before picture and then in the August 9th picture about five and a half months later almost six months later that skin had really firmed up I was really pretty amazed by the results on the tummy that I had had and as those of you who have followed my channel know I have been doing weightlifting over the past six months but weightlifting does absolutely nothing for sagging skin basically all the before and after results you're seeing are from the derma rolling process itself now next I'm going to show you my legs and let me preface this by saying that I have not worn shorts except for Bermuda shorts which almost cover my knee for maybe the past four to five years and I don't know if you have experienced this and tell me in the comments section if you have so I know I'm not alone but I had stopped wearing shorter shorts and I used to wear fairly short shorts 
but I'd stopped wearing those shorts because the fronts and the backs of my legs just looked kind of mottled. It looked like the skin was all dimply and saggy and it just looked like old skin. And I just thought, oh no, I always thought I'd be wearing bathing suits and shorts until I was 90, but my skin on my thighs just does not support that anymore. So let me show you the before and after picture on the front of my thighs. And here it is, January 22nd. And as you can see, just all over in terms of the overall tone of my thighs, they just look kind of old and a little bit baggy and not at all toned. And the little purple areas kind of show you that. In the before picture, it just looks like my skin is not very smooth. It's just got a lot of waviness to it. And then in the after picture on the purple arrows, as you can see, the skin has really firmed up. And in my opinion, the skin looks maybe 10 years younger in the after picture than it did in the before, just a little bit firmer. You can kind of imagine a woman in her 40s or 50s might have smooth legs like that, but when you get to your 60s, unless you're derma rolling or doing something else, that skin is just not going to be firm anymore. And the blue arrows show you one little scar that I had there. And as you can see in the before picture, and this is actually a lipo scar from when I had my breast fat transfer done. The doctor did a little lipo down there. And as you can see around that scar, it just looks kind of puffy, like a little pillow around it. So that scar is really emphasized. But then in the after picture, the blue arrow shows you that around that scar is now smooth, so that scar blends in much better. Now let's take a look at the knees. And the knees are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I think the derma rolling is really helping with that baggy kind of elephant look that we all get to our knees as we get to be a little more grown up. So as you can see by the orange arrows in the before picture, you can see I've got big bulges above my knees that just look like pillows filled with fluid, actually. It looks rather swollen there. But as the yellow arrows indicate in the after pictures, those swollen pillow looking pouches above my knees are getting a lot less, which is just wonderful. Now the green arrow shows you the before and after on my knees, and they're still not perfect by a long stretch. And I do have my scar on my left knee, which was from my knee replacement. But I think in the after picture, my knees are starting to look a little bit more smooth. You will have to form your opinions on everything. But just looking at the legs before and after at the front of the legs, the after legs just do look like the skin is firmer and younger and a little bit better. Okay, now I was really surprised at the backs of my legs because quite honestly, I never really looked at the back of my body. And you know that because when I did my weight training video, I took a picture of the back of my body and I was blown away by how bad my butt was when I started the weight training. But let's take a look at the back of my thighs because I was quite impressed by the derma rolling results on the back of my thighs. And so here you are on February 22nd, as you can see, I've just got a bunch of black arrows there because basically what I hope you can see, and I hope the picture isn't too small for you, but similar to the front of the legs, the whole overall tone of the legs has improved in the after picture. In the before picture, my legs just look kind of dimply and kind of non-toned. And then in the after picture, the skin just looks firmer and smoother. And more even in terms of color overall, I really just think the backs of my legs just look a little bit younger overall. And again, this is just my opinion and I'm not a scientist. I tried to keep the lighting the same. But if you have opinions about any of these results, either positive or negative, I hope you'll share them in the comment section below the video. Now let's get to something that I was most concerned about when I started and that is bat wings. That is this kind of double waving in the wind stuff. And actually, I think the derma rolling is really helping there. And I'll preface this by saying that if you tense up your arms, the bat wings do look better. And then if you relax them, they tend to sag a little more. So in these pictures, I have not flexed my arms at all. But there's the January 22nd picture, the before picture when I started. And as you can see, especially on the right picture, I have a pretty significant bat wing there and also on the left as well. And then on the after picture, about six months later, everything has firmed up quite a lot and the skin is not nearly so saggy on either arm. So that is the six months results on my derma rolling video. And I'm going to be carrying on this experiment by adding something else to the mix. And I'll do another six months picture for you. And I will say that the six month term, I think is really, really important to give your skin time to show real improvement. And I realized this as I was reading studies online about tretinoin. 
And several of the studies said that although you can see results on Retin-A or Tretinoin, you know, within the first weeks or months or whatever, that usually you're just seeing the results of swelling that's kind of, you know, the skin swells and takes away the wrinkle look, that kind of thing. But that to really see real improvements, you have to give the skin six months, which I know is a little bit hard to wait through, but I think that the derma rolling really didn't produce its great results overall until about six months. Because the thing about derma rolling is you were doing hundreds of little micropuncture wounds on your skin. And then over the next four weeks, as you're not derma rolling, the blood rushes in, the collagen rushes in to increase itself and repair those little micro wounds or micro tears. So it does take time for your skin to show its ultimate improvement. And before I get into telling you the next phase of this experiment, which I'm really excited about, because one of my big goals on this channel is to help us not end up like our 85, 90 year old mothers with that hanging, sagging skin and all of those black bruises. Not only does that not look good, but it is not healthy for us either because the skin can rip and we really want to keep our skin taut and strong as we age. But there's something else that I wanted to tell you about. And if you'd like to see a video about this, please put your comments below in the video. And that is that I had a wonderful viewer named Christine who followed along with me doing this six month derma roller experiment. And I won't show you her before and after pictures yet, but unlike me where I focused on the saggy skin, kind of looking at a tummy and saying, does it look less saggy? She got really close up in her pictures as she went through the six months of derma rolling and so she got very close up and showed phenomenal results on crepiness, on skin crepiness. So if you would like to see that video as a special video, as this one is getting a little long, let me know because the results on crepiness that Christine had were amazing. And I still have some crepiness here. And so I will probably be experimenting on crepiness on this area and on the neck because all of us tend to have crepey necks as we get older. And so let me know if you want to see Christine's results and I'll do a video just about crepiness and I think you'll really like it. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to be doing going forward. And again, if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I would subscribe for this because I am really excited to see what another six months does on this sagging skin. What I'm going to be doing, and actually I started this maybe a week or so ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, is that on my arms I'm going to be using tretinoin or Retin-A because over time tretinoin is known to thicken skin and again it takes it about six months so this will probably be another six months video but I'm going to be using tretinoin on my arms and I'll follow along with that and I think I will also use it on the fronts of my knees and on my tummy and we'll see if we can't make that tummy even a little bit better. And so that is going to be part three of this sagging skin video, and I guess part three of my trying to find a solution for crepey, sagging skin as we age, and I am so excited. I'm on a mission about that for sure. Now, one other thing I wanted to share with you before I get to the thought for the day, and that is that I absolutely loved it that Christine took before and after pictures and sent those to me, and if any of you have been doing that and would love to share your results with me, I would love to see that because I would love to use them in a future video because that helps all of us know that this really does work. And also even going forward, if you wanted to take a before picture now and then continue on, basically what we're doing is once a month, we're using a 1.5 derma roller on our skin and now I'm going to be using Tretin-A as well, but you don't have to do that. But if you end up with before and after pictures, I'll put my email in a link below the video so you can share those with me. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein, and let's go ahead and choose hopefully a good positive thought to think about for today. Here we go. In order to awaken the world to the light, I must not be afraid to shine. In order to awaken the world to the light, I must not be afraid to shine. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and I am very guilty of this and you probably are too. Something about us being women in the society, I don't know what it is, but we're almost afraid to let ourselves be as great as we were designed to be. To really use all of those blessings that we were given and to be proud of it and to stand tall and tell the world, I am here and I have this greatness to share with you. And I think this may have to do with the fact that as women, sometimes we say, oh, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to make them feel less than because I'm so great. But you guys, let's stop that. I have about 30 years left on this earth and I am finally ready to throw off the shackles and say, hey, 
God made me to be a certain way and I'm going to use all my blessings and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to accomplish something and I am going to shine my light on the world. And friends, I hope you will do that too. If God put a little light in you and he put a light in every single one of us, then I hope that you'll accept that, be pleased about that and proud about that and let your light truly shine. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.